Back in February in the UK, a trial at Crown Court came to a conclusion, and that trial was about rape. A 19-year-old female called Megan Clark was raped in Manchester in July 2016. She met a guy called Ricardo Rodriguez Fortes Gomez at a Burger King, and not long after they met, she was raped by him. Miss Clark was both drunk and on poppers that night, I'm on nitrate to the chemists out there, and the judge, a female judge by the name of Lindsay Kushner, raised the point that women's drunken behaviour was putting them at risk. This, of course, drew the ire of feminists and social justice warriors as they decried and denounced the judge and slammed her for victim blaming. Of course, reactionary feminists are the type to look at the headline, but not the entire article, because this was never what Judge Kushner remotely suggested or said. The judge's logic was pretty simple, even for reactionary simpletons. If you make yourself less of a target, it's logical to assume that you might reduce the risk of becoming a target. A woman on her own, drunk out of her mind, wandering down a dark lane at night, is surely a more appealing target for the would-be rapist than a woman who is aware of her surroundings, sticks to bright-lit streets with plenty of passing traffic and people, and isn't smacked off her tits on drink and drugs. In the same way that you wouldn't leave all your doors and windows unlocked at night in your house, and then scratch your head in wonderment the next day as to why it is, only your house in the street was robbed. At no point did the judge excuse the behaviour and the actions of the rapist. He committed the crime of rape of his own volition, but the judge's point was to say that by being as drunk and on drugs that she was, the would-be rapist need look no further. He had found his victim, one that he knew would be unable to stop him doing what he wanted. If she hadn't been drunk and on drugs, the rapist might have viewed her as too much trouble, but more importantly, and this is what the judge was hinting at, the prospective victim would have been better able to judge the situation and quite possibly seen the male as the threat he was and sought escape from him. There is of course still the possibility that irrespective of her condition, whether she was sober or drunk, he might still have attacked her, and the judge was not saying that rape was entirely avoidable simply by being sober. But in some circumstances, rapists are opportunists that look for the easy target. If she was more compass mentis, it could have reduced her risk and he would either have simply ceased considering her as a target or moved on to someone else. A shame then that a judge, and a female one at that, can't point out something so seemingly obvious and eminently sensible that feminists and social justice warriors cannot and will not see the sense being spoken and simply blurt out victim blaming as if anyone with a brain would believe that's what the judge implied. However, Unlike some of the weak-willed who stumble under a flurry of Twitter-based announcements, Judge Lindsay Kushner is no delicate flower. She has since retired as a judge, but refuses to change her views about this issue and has stuck to her guns on it. And that makes a refreshing change. But what also makes an absolute mockery of the social justice warriors is the rape victim herself, who fully understood what the judge meant and also happens to fully agree with her. Probably about time some of the reactionary types look further than the headline and rushing to be first to post their unwarranted displeasure on Twitter and look a twat. But I'm guessing that's asking too much. Feel free to comment, like, and if you can manage it, subscribe.